Welcome to Let Me Know YouTube channel. Please subscribe to Let Me Know YouTube channel for more videos. Click on bell icon to get notifications. Good morning students. Today's class is decimal numbers. In the decimal numbers, first we are going to see the definition of decimal numbers. Actually, what it is mean by decimal number? What it is mean by a decimal number that we are going to see now? The numbers expressed in the form of decimal are called decimal numbers. Example 0 0.71, 0 0.32, 0 0.3, 3.2. These are the decimal numbers. Actually, these decimal numbers has two parts. One is whole part and the other one is a decimal part. Okay. And these two parts are separated by a dot. Dot. Okay. So, the dot is called decimal point. Here, see the example. 1.32. One is called a whole part. And uh, 3, 2 is called decimal part. And this dot is called decimal point. Okay. The dot is called decimal point. Clear? Now, in other words, the decimal number is defined as like this decimal point is separated a uh, whole part and a decimal part okay whole the uh, point after the point we have decimal part before the point we have only whole part okay after dot we have decimal part before dot we have whole part here one is whole part and 32 is decimal part we did not call it as 32 because after decimal number we have to read the number as separate digits only 32 it's not 32 okay after decimal part point we have to read the number separately like digits 32 but we won't read it as 32 clear decimal fraction a fraction in which the denominator is 10 or a power of 10 are called decimal fraction in a fraction in which the denominator is 10 or the power of 10 called decimal fraction example 1 by 10 3 by 100, 6 by 1000. Okay. Now, how we are going to add the decimal numbers? See, here is the one example. See that? 0 0.53 plus 1.26 plus 3.25. We need to write whole part at one side like this and a decimal part on the other side. The point should be on same place. So, first we need to add from right to left. So, 3 plus 6, 9, 9 plus 5, 14, 1 carry, 5 plus 1, 6, plus 2, 8, plus 2, 10, 0, 1 carry, next 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 3, 5, the answer is 5.04, 5 5.04 is the answer, in this way we need to add the decimal numbers, okay, 
how we are going to subtract the decimal number see the example so 27.85 14.34 four. we need to subtract 14.34 from 27.85 so we need to write like this 27.85 14.34 minus 5 minus 4 1 8 minus 3 5 7 minus 4 3 1 2 minus 1 1 so the answer is 13.51 like same subtraction of numbers only but uh, we need to concentrate on decimal point that's it where is the decimal point after how many digits we have a decimal point that we have to concentrate okay next multiplication 2.25 into 1.25 2.25 into 1.25 so first forgot about the decimal number uh, sorry decimal point after how many digits the decimal point may just forgot about the decimal point directly multiply the numbers 225 into 125 so the answer is 28125 is the answer after getting the answer just concentrate now on decimal points in first 2.25 we have two decimal points two digits after decimal point in 1.25 also we have two decimal num our numbers so after point we have two decimal places here to there to total four decimal places now from uh, right to left we need to count four decimal places five two one eight after eight we need to put a point so now the answer will become two point eight one two five in this way we need to multiply the decimal number with the decimal number now division of decimal numbers 1.562 by 0 0.25 now first of all the remainder we need to make it as n number for that after decimal point we have two places that's why we are multiplying with a hundred numerator and denominator now it will become 156.2 by 25 now we need to twenty-five six are 150 60 to 25 twos are 50 next 25 fours are 120 12 is a reminder so by putting the point here we are adding a zero after that 120 15 fours are 100 20 is the reminder next off already we put here the point that's why we no need to put again a point so directly we are adding 0 so 200 25 8 is a 200 200 minus 200 0 next here 62.48 but actually here 160 156.2 in the question itself point one point uh, decimal place is there so here one decimal place and here two decimal places total three decimal places in the answer that's why from right to left we need to calculate uh, count three decimal places one two three so after two we need to put a dot so answer will become six point two four eight next two point five six divided by one point two just so here we have another method just forgot about the decimal places directly divide the number with the given divisor so here see the example 2.56 1.2 2 256 by 12 12 2s are 24 16 12 1s are 12 40 12 3s are 36 40 12 3s are 36 4 so here in the answer we have two decimal places in the question see 
in the div uh, numerator we have two decimal places in the denominator we have one so one one get cancelled only one is left there so one plus three uh, two three so in the answer we need to put the com pointer from right to left after three digits one two three so answer will become two point one three three conversion of simple fraction to decimal number convert 11 by 16 into decimal number so for, for this we need to divide 16 by 11 by 16 directly 11 with 16 so 11 is 11 is here so in 16 table there is no 11 that's why put point a uh, zero point so of by putting this zero point we are adding here zero so now 11 will become 110 so 16 6 are 96 14 is a carry already we kept it here point so add one more zero here 140 16 8 are 128 next 12 is a carry 0 120 16 7 are 112 okay next uh, 16 5 80 so the answer is a uh, 0 0.6875 11 by 16 into decimal number the answer will be 0 0.6875 okay here convert 0 0.025 into simple fraction 0 0.025 is nothing but easily we are going to convert into a decimal simple fraction that is nothing but a decimal fraction we have 25 here 25 here 25 write 25 in the numerator by we have three decimal places here so that's why one followed by three decimal numbers now the answer will become 25 by thousand that's all for today practice the practice exercise entrance corner and all if you have any doubts i will clarify in the next class thank you all have a good day thank you for watching please share and subscribe to my channel for more videos